Now that you have some experience with graphing and defining functions, it's a great time to introduce two concepts to you. Domain and range. Now domain is the allowable x or input values for a given relationship, while range is the allowable y or output values for the given relationship. Now, an easy way to keep these straight, that is, which is x and which is y, is to note the bottom of the g in the word range. That's the same as the bottom loop of a y. So we can remember that range goes with y, and that leaves domain going with x. And now that we have that little memory trick sorted out to keep the x and the y straight, Let's figure out what's meant by allowable. Some examples. Example one is the following relation of function and what is its domain and range? First, is it a function? What do you think? Well, we can do the vertical line test, remember? And no double hits. So yes, this is a function. The next part of the question is, what is the function's domain and range? So let's start with the range. Now remember that range has the g, which helps remind us that we're looking for the allowable y values. So let's start with an example y value. Does this relationship exist where y equals 0. Well, here's where y equals 0, and this function doesn't take on any values when y is 0, so it doesn't exist where y equals 0. y equals 0 must not be part of the range. What about y equals 1? Well, here's where y equals 1. And again, the graph doesn't exist here. So this function does not take on any values when y equals 1. So again, y equals 1 isn't part of the range. So we can take this pattern and notice that all of these values down here are outside of the range of this particular function. They're not represented. But at y equals 2, we see that our relationship starts to take on values. So y equals 2 is a part of the range. And we can see that all of the y's above y equals 2 are also represented by this function. So we'd say that the range includes all y values that are equal or greater than 2. So, we've identified the range. Next, let's look at the domain for this function. Recall that the domain is the allowable x values. So, let's switch to x value examples. Does this function exist where x equals 0? Well, here's where x equals 0, and this relationship definitely exists at this point. When x equals 0, y equals 2. So x equals 0 is a part of the domain. What about when x equals 1? Here's where x equals 1. And again, the graph does exist here. Here's the exact point where it exists. So x equals 1 is also a part of the range. And at this point, you can probably see the pattern in that no matter how far we go to the right here, the relationship will always be represented, as the graph goes on to the right forever, even if it's above the area we can see. In the same way, the graph goes to the left forever as well. So we'd say that the domain is all x values on this graph, or it's common to say x is part of the set of all real numbers, which can be written like this. x is an element of the real number system. This symbol here, a fancy e, 
says that X is an element of, and the capital R represents the set of real numbers. Basically, all of the numbers you'll be exposed to in your life, unless you get into really serious math courses in university and learn about imaginary numbers. But all of the numbers that you can think of are real numbers. So, to answer the original question, we have the answer in three parts. It is a function, the range is y is equal or greater than 2, and the domain is x is an element of all real numbers.